Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we got a look at a ship that I've already done this for, I think. Uh, if not, then you'll see the build that I have. It's been a long time since I've featured the Fletcher on my channel, so uh, hopefully you guys are ready. It's time. So let's get down to the uh, commander build first. So first of all, we're using Arlie Burke, the legendary commander. Uh, he's got an entire destroyer class named after him. So uh, he's a pretty, pretty special guy. Eric Bay and Jersey Swirsky, because you guys know I like to get up close and personal with people. And obviously, sure shot, because precision. And then we've got uh, torpedo speed, rather than the incoming splash damage. We've got look at me now, which is the incoming detect or the detectability. And then we've got reload time of the destroyer's main guns and uh, reload time of the secondary batteries. But it's mainly for the destroyer's main guns. Um, you don't really need the dispersion. This thing's pretty accurate as is. Uh, anyway, moving on, we've got range of the destroyer's main guns and incoming fire dispersion, but it does slow down your rudder shift slightly. And then we've got the engine repair, uh, or the unstoppable perk, which helps you with when you get your engine knocked out. Comes in really handy. All right, so then we get into the upgrades. Aiming system mod one. Propulsion mod. Concealment system. And torpedo launchers mod three now i've thought about going with this uh and i'll be honest let's just look at it real quick i'm gonna go ahead and buy that's three million credits down the drain if i don't decide to use it but let's look at the stats right now so we can get that from a 2.9 seconds it was 2.9 a second ago from 2.9 down to 2.5 uh is it worth the extra half a second not so much uh i would rather have my torpedoes back a little bit faster because you get more of a bonus. It's it's kind of min-maxing. Yes, it's nice to have your guns fa fire faster, but also you get bigger bonus by getting your torpedo launchers back, or your torpedoes back. So, uh, yeah, we just wasted some gold and some uh, silver there. Somebody's going to be a little triggered by that. Uh, we are fully upgraded, as you guys can see. And if we look at our stats, we have 16,700 uh, hit points, which is pretty good. Uh, it's not the best, but it's up there with pretty good. We've got five 127 millimeter guns, but they feel like a lot more than that when you're on the receiving end. They fire out to almost 12 kilometers with this build, and they have a reload time of just under three seconds, 2.9 seconds, and of course they they turn in 5.3 seconds. It doesn't matter if you're caught off guard. This thing will turn the turrets immediately. Uh, HE shell damage is not very high, or 1800 damage, but a 5% chance to set fires and 2100 maximum AP shell damage. If you can catch a cruiser close enough that you can get uh, armor piercing off, you can citadel them faster than they can kill you. So uh, it's just something that's unique to the American cruisers kind of, so or the American destroyers, but you gotta get close. Uh, and if you're that close, you've probably been detected for a while and you're probably already getting into trouble. Uh, torpedoes, it's got 10 torpedoes, 533 millimeters, and they reload every 103 seconds, which is pretty brutal if we're honest. That's that's really, really rough. Uh, 9.2 kilometer torpedo range, and they only do 59 knots, and that's with our bonus. Like, they're pretty slow otherwise. Uh, maneuverability, 36 and a half knots without your engine boost, 560 meter turning radius, and 3.3 second rudder shift time. Then we've got concealment, is five and a half kilometers with all of our perks, uh, which is good enough, it's adequate. It's not amazing, obviously, it's not Japanese or British destroyer, but it is adequate. You can get a lot closer to people with this, and that helps when your uh, torpedoes only have a 9.2 kilometer range. So, uh, yeah, let's look at the thing. Extended smoke, it has a very long duration smoke, but it only gets two of them. It's got an ab above average main battery reload time, and uh, above average main battery traverse speed, which gives you an edge in close quarters, absolutely. Fletcher belonged to the most numerous series of destroyers in the world. She proved to be a very successful ship, combining high speed and efficient AA defenses, as well as a powerful artillery and torpedo armament. She entered service in 1942, and there were 175 of these built. So yeah, they, they were a thing. And without further ado, let's get to the DACA. Alright, so, 
Now it's been a very long time since I've actually gotten in the Fletcher to try to get a game. I'm not going to lie to you. It took some time. It's been a while. But there's a, re there's a reason for that. And that is because I like to get you guys really good games. So sometimes they take a minute, especially when I'm trying to get a very specific kind of video. So hopefully you guys are ready. It's going to be a good one. We're going to have a lot of time to DACA. <laughs> in this one. Uh, this is going to be definitely the most hits I've ever had out of my main guns on my Fletcher. Uh, so we're, we're going to keep them cycling. Don't worry. And uh, I don't know if you noticed that or not, but we loaded in about, what was it, three three seconds? Maybe it was two and a half? Forget. It, it's really fast. So you can imagine what's going to happen. Now we are on land of fire and we spawned on the destroyer side or at least what I call the destroyer side because it has all the little islands that are just perfect for destroyers to pop out and destroy people um, but while we do have that potential that is not what the Fletcher is known for the Fletcher is known as one of the most formidable gunboats in the game it's ridiculous rate of fire is what makes it special? The guns rotate almost immediately. There is no, hey, you gotta wait for the guns to rotate. No, the guns are there. No matter where you look, the guns are already there. It's like they, they uh, are, what do you call those guys that know ahead of, know the future? The pre, 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 pre something or another's? I forget. Minority report. Somebody help me in the comments below. Anyway, <laughs> precogs. Ah, they're precogs. Anyway, that oddball tidbit aside, we are about to start raining hellfire on the enemy team. Because that's what this thing is good at. This is basically a small Atlanta. That's basically what it is. It has the same guns as Atlanta, and they fire as quickly, or maybe even quicker than Atlanta. I don't know. They're fast. Oh my god. And Akatsuki has entered the fight. Hello, sunshine. You have royally up. <laughs> as long as I don't get torped by you, you have no chance in this fight. None. Look at him. He's like, I gotta get a, get a smoke screen now. Well, there's one salvo. There's two salvos. Where's the third? There's the third. So all of his torpedoes have been used, which means it's time to get in there. Oh, I'm spotted. Oh, you shot me. Oh, that's not very nice of you. Okay. A little bit too much lead there. I was at... Oh, okay, Spartan. Come on now. Calm down. I know he's a juicy target. Down he goes. Yeah. You you are never going to win that fight. And then I, I panic smoked here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It was a bit of a panic smoke. But, uh, it, it, you know, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you get a bit excited. But we're gonna utilize mostly the Akatsuki smoke here. And... We are going to do everything that we can to uh, make these guys miserable. Now, he's obviously slowing down in the turpits, but we have a smoke screen, and our guys are spotting these guys, so why not just start firing the guns? So that's what we're going to do. For the next two minutes, we can sit here and just rain fire after fire onto the battleships that are just sitting here begging for it. Now there are Kutuzovs in the neighborhood, which means I've got to be careful. But as you can see, my impressive wall of skill is perfectly spaced out <clears throat> to make sure he had nowhere to go. He has no choice but to take all of these torpedoes that I can hit him with. Three of them, in fact. He's flooding. He's on fire. He's dead. <laughs> and we have our second kill of the game. But we're not done, folks. We are only what, four minutes into the match. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half? Yeah. Leon, how you doing? Oh, God, torpedoes. Hey, that's right. The, uh, the Turpets has torpedoes. Ah, we'll just get out of the way of those. No big deal. <laughs> uh, not, not a problem. Oh, God. We don't have sight lines on the, the Leon anymore. That's not preferable. Now, we did lose half our hit points, but I think we did more than make up for what the enemy took from us. Now, here the Bismarck starts charging in, and you can ask all the questions that you want to ask right about now. It's it's basically, I have no idea what he was thinking, but he was wrong. Because now he's going broadside on. They're firing at nothing. They can't see me. I'm in the smoke. They're just firing at my smoke, hoping to hit me. 
And I'll be real honest, they were never really close at all. Uh, so, wasn't even scary. However, 10 seconds and my smoke runs out, so it's time to get my booty rolling. And if you did notice, these Kutuzovs appear to be getting a little too close for comfort. I do not want to be inside 6 kilometers when these guys finally are able to detect me. So, we out. <laughs> we have inflicted mass casualties on the enemy. It's time to disengage. And this is something I've been working on in Destroyers, is my disengaging. And, especially in the Fletcher, it can be really difficult because it's a big ship. It's got a bad detection rating. Now, I believe we got ours down. You guys will know more than I do because you guys just saw the intro, if you saw it. Otherwise, you might be one of those guys that clicked the timestamp that I leave in the comments to skip it. Which I don't blame you for. It's fine. We're all here for the gameplay, right? But the last thing I want to do is to fire my guns in between two Kutuzovs. <laughs> so we trying to get out of here. We don't want this fight right now. This is bad juju. Just bad juju. You don't want it. So we're going to try to get away. And then we're going to try to cover our retreat here by launching torpedoes in the direction that just happens to have some nasty little cruisers. And so... Uh, First of all, props to these cruisers for growing a pair, because most Kutuzovs sit at 19 kilometers and just rain hellfire from there. But these guys, no, they, they're all about getting up in here. Uh, there's a destroyer nearby, and they're determined <laughs> to find him, uh, unfortunately for me. So what we're doing is kiting away. Now, we have a cruiser with us. There are two battleships back there, plus two Kutuzovs. This cruiser needs to maintain his distance and do everything he can to stay alive. But he is going to be invaluable to me. A, because he's spotted. Ah, oh, I just had to sneeze, sorry. But B, because he's maintaining fire on the enemy. So now, while we saw that this uh, Kutuzov was definitely slowing down like he didn't want to come past that island. But well, we're going to go ahead and, oh my god, he got touched. All right, uh, let's go ahead. We've got smoke dropped behind us to protect us from that cruiser. Uh, let's try to get rid of this Kutuzov. And you can see the guy behind me is, is still landing shots. He, he actually absolutely decked this guy. And... Uh, down he goes. Jean Bart actually finishes off the Kutuzov. I don't even know where the Jean Bart is, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Looks like the Jean Bart might be all the way to the other side of the map, but there's still a Kutuzov in hot pursuit, and he is not slowing down, and I don't have any torpedoes to throw at him at the moment. So it's basically use the smoke as cover while I'm still sailing away and fire the guns constantly as best I can. At least until this guy stops firing, which he, he's going to, and uh, he disappears, which is going to happen. Now, here I was like, oh my god, go ahead, go broadside to me, Russian cruiser. I will load AP in this thing and absolutely wreck you. So go ahead, go broadside to me. <laughs> uh, okay, he's getting a little too close there, bud. Maybe, maybe time to disengage, get out of the smoke and get... Oh, we got a fire, that's cool. We got a fire, and we are just absolutely pummeling him over and over again with our main batteries. And you can see I'm turning back into the smoke to try to make sure that he doesn't just come right out of the corner of the smoke and detect me, because I need a head start. He's going to absolutely ruin me, and I only have health, half my health. We've allowed him to get way too close. But smoke screens are good for me more than they are him. He's a big ship, and uh, I have a lot of nasty torpedoes. Now that's a big smoke screen. So we're just going to anticipate where we think he might go. And we're going to fill that with torpedoes. Fired at narrow firing angles, which of course on this ship are particularly wide firing angles. But we are not firing angles, but uh, oh, he took one in the mouth. He took it right in the mouth, right in the kisser. Let's try. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's not. Ooh, ouch. Okay. He fired armor piercing. We good. We're good. There's absolutely nothing that can go wrong here. Oh god, he switched. Never mind. He's not a complete potato. Uh, we need him gone. Quickly. Yes. 
So we only take one real salvo that from him that was actually any damage. Thanks to the cruiser behind me for helping, and uh, the Jean Bart for helping with the other guy. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. I appreciate you. We are at 176 hits. It's insane, guys. 176 hits. 96,000 damage done, four torpedo hits, and three kills. I feel like we've done our, our part in this battle. Like, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not a destroyer captain. You guys know this. But especially for a gunboat destroyer like the Fletcher, 100,000 damage ain't nothing to sneeze at. 176 main battery hits, keeping the DACA rolling. Uh, I'm basically trying to fill time, if you guys haven't noticed, because it's going to be a while before we get back to the enemy. We had to run away uh, for a long time. <laughs> so now that that's done and the inevitable I'm going to die moment has passed, it's time to push up. And, you know, there's a funny thing about me that may, most of you may know if you've watched for a while. Most, Some of you may not know, though is that once I get to a specific point where I feel like I've done enough, I inevitably do something incredibly stupid. <laughs> Anybody want to hazard a guess? Go ahead, pause the video now. Put in a comment what your guests think. Don't cheat now. Don't watch past and then put it in. That's cheating. I'll know. I really won't, but you know what I'm saying. Don't cheat. Put it in the comments what you think I'm going to do that's really, really stupid. Okay? All right, now that you guys are back, what you put into the comments is probably pretty pretty hilarious, and uh, maybe or maybe not, you will be right. Who knows? I might have to look through and maybe pin the person who got it right. Who to thunk? Little incentive. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna try to cut off these two. Obviously, but I was expecting the Leon to still be over here somewhere, but because the Leon and the Bismarck both took off. That means I can cut through here, and I'll be in a good position to uh, intercept this Bismarck. Now, what does the Bismarck have that other battleships don't? Anybody? Yeah, it's got a lot of secondaries that reach way out. Way out. And there are times where I'm in a gunboat destroyer like the Fletcher, and I forget that I'm in a destroyer. Like, I just, I start sailing around shooting things, and I completely forget that I'm actually a destroyer. Now, notice the range of engagement here. If I start firing here, he's definitely going to detect me, because there's nothing between us. I don't have any smokes left, and we are definitely inside his secondary battery range, because nobody plays the Bismarck without maximum secondaries, or at least a... Nine kilometer secondary. You can get nine to nine and a half with a uh, dispersion build using hide, I believe. But we're just going to open the guns, and here comes the Hellfire. <laughs> uh, watch my health because of this. Now, he does hit me with the main batteries, too, and that, that does actually hurt, which is surprising in and of itself. The fact that he was able to hit me multiple times with his opening salvo was pretty obnoxious, if I'm honest. But the secondaries are doing a pretty good job of smashing me too. I'm down to 200 health left. Now, normal people would be like, all right, 200 health, get the hell out and stay away from it. All right, we're gonna disconnect, or we're not disconnecting. We're gonna disengage, oh my God, that was death right there. That was a death. But we're gonna try to avoid, and we do, we disengage. He completely whiffs the shot and then me being the dummy that I am, I'm like, I'm outside of secondary range, it's fine. It's it's a German battleship, he's firing his guns at, you know, the cruiser that's close to him. I need to turn around and, and engage him again with my 266 hit points. <laughs> and don't bother using the island to your right or anything. I mean, you could get within five and a half kilometers or two five and a half kilometers from him and not actually be seen so you could get to the next island and fire over the island the entire time. But why would you do that? That makes sense. We don't make sense here on Spartan Elite 43. <laughs> we set another fire and that one's gonna burn for a minute. So uh, we're back to the Dakas and then look at the secondaries coming in. It's like, oh God, yeah, oops. <laughs> but we did set the fire, but unfortunately he puts it out. Darn it. 
But that was enough to allow the Charles Martel, I say that, the Charles Martel was going in regardless. And uh, I'm not sure what happened to his torpedoes. I'm sure he's got some, right? Did he launch all of them off of both sides? Either way, Jean Bart finishes the Bismarck. We win the match. We did all right. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Pretty fun game altogether. 104,000 damage, 213 targets hit with the main batteries in a destroyer. Second on the leaderboard because, you know, being a destroyer out there firing your guns 600 times is definitely not <laughs> worthy of being tops. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.